exact effect if you just use you know a text and just use a stroke on it. It wouldn't look the same, I guarantee you. And oh, no way. You're fucking kidding me. Did Photoshop just crash on me? I fucking oh. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sesso here, bringing you guys in a video here today, bringing you guys a Photoshop text effect tutorial, and yes, it's been a freaking very long time since the last time I made a text effect tutorial. I think the last time was when I did the Plexus text effect. If you guys don't remember that one, then like, you know, it was like, it had like 40,000 views, and that's when I was like, yo, let's like stay away from that series for a little bit, because I don't know what I'm going to like put out next, and it might not be just as good, but of course, I think I topped it. I think I did really good on this one. I'm very excited. I love the way it came out, and it's just an overall very very awesome concept it's just like abstract colorful and it can be used on a white background I'm this it's like it just it calls to me okay and so pretty much it's very easy to do it might look complicated a little bit but it really really isn't you're just pretty much using the pen tool the wave effect and the liquify tool and then you're pretty much all set with your color scheme I have the same as that codes that I use right down here in the top or excuse me the bottom right corner which I'll give the hex codes during the video and uh, yeah it's a really simple freaking awesome kind of see-through concept so whatever is on your background even if you have a picture I have kind of like a swirl background going on but anything you have in the background that you put below will pretty much be see-through you'll be able to see it down there and it'll be it's pretty awesome okay so it works for a lot of different things i'm kind of giving you guys i'm like handing you guys a, a style that you can go with this like this is just a text effect but as you can see this text effect already kind of fills the banner in looks really good and i want to show you guys how to do this so of course, two likes on the video equals a secret down below, uh, which most likely will be the PSD of today's video. And I'm, yo, I'm kind of wondering, can we can we hit 300 likes? Like, I know we can, but can we just like do it today? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Just saying, can we just go for it? All right, let's go and get this thing going. So the first thing you probably want to know is what is the text that I'm using? What is the font that I'm going to be using for today's tutorial? And it is called Long Haul. So you probably would have known that already if you guys watched my actual font pack video that I did a while ago that's only one F we need two F's and okay and we're just gonna make sure this is put right in the dead smack middle with my control H rulers here I'm gonna press it again to hide them away and we're gonna get this thing going we're gonna get this thing rolling so pretty much the first thing you guys want to go ahead and do is we're gonna make a new layer right below that text that you just put down so on this new layer I'm gonna call this text because this new layer is gonna actually become our text in a little bit we're gonna make a stroke for it and it's gonna look really good so we're gonna press P on your keyboard to use the pen tool. And this is what you wanna kinda wanna do. You wanna follow my lead here. You're pretty much doing nothing incredibly difficult. So when you, if you're new to the pen tool, relax. It's not gonna be hard for you to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead though and save really quickly. If you hold shift, of course, it's gonna make you straight lines. So pretty much every time I, I kinda interact with these two or the spacing in between two letters, I'm gonna kinda dip down and then come back up. Very simple, almost like a V shape. And I'm gonna hold shift again to make a straight line. I see, I'm seeing right in the middle of these two letters here. Dip down, come back up. And I'm gonna kinda rinse and repeat this throughout the entire way. And it's gonna give me a very simple boxy kind of effect, uh, kinda like a stroke that you would not get if you just use the regular layer style stroke effect. Uh, it would not look good. And I would suggest you guys just do this. It's very simple, very quick. You don't have to be like incredibly precise either. Um, that'll do holding shift come down here holding shift come back up and pretty much just kind of rinse and repeat this thing as you see I'm not trying super hard to kind of measure out the lines make them all straight or excuse me making all the same height because who knows maybe like just making it a little bit different for each height might just be what you want to do um, and then I'm gonna connect it. So once you guys connect it, I want to make sure I'm gonna hold control really quickly. Select the path again to recreate or excuse me, re-show up all the different points that you just put down. Hold control to select the point, and I can also move it by holding control as well. And I'm gonna, I want to make sure I kind of put this on the same like line here. I can probably just delete this like there as well. There we go. All right, cool. So this is kind of what I have here, and as you can, you kind of like imagine it really quickly. And now we're gonna go ahead and go for it. So on this new layer here, right click. Fill path, drop down, use color, and we're gonna select the color grayish blue, whatever's going on here. The hex code for this is 74848D. Pressing OK twice, just like so. And then pretty much now what you wanna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna right click, uh, delete the path here. 
pretty much now what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna hold control and select the thumbnail of your word your text word that you chose whichever whatever you typed select the thumbnail of that and then you can pretty much hide that now and you want to go to that new layer that we just created and press delete on your keyboard and as you can see it's going to give you guys a very simple like boxy kind of stroke it looks really cool looks really good with this this font actually as well i'm gonna quickly see if i can kind of like just i don't want to make them all even but i kind of want to make sure i don't want this i want the same height kind of going on that's fine sure we'll just go with that for now and it looks really good like i said if you want to, you can delete this if you guys want to, you don't need this anymore i'll just keep it so you guys know it was a thing um right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press Control t on my keyboard of course it's gonna bring up the tr free transform on my new layer here and it's gonna be skew we're gonna use skew and we're gonna take the top right corner and we're gonna move it up right and we're gonna move the top or excuse me top left corner and we're gonna use the top right corner and move it like i don't know like down a little bit i guess so like down there we go and it's gonna, it's gonna give our a text a little bit more i don't know how would you say like personality sure Control t to transform once again and then i'm using the rotation tool so of course i'm gonna rotate it just a little bit to kind of make it straight like so and now i kind of have more of a uh just a more of a flashy look to it, it almost has like it has like a kind of a, a, a how do you call it a vantage point sure it just looks a little bit different and i like it and i want to make sure maybe i'll just do a little bit more there we go right just flirt with a little bit just just to kind of give it just a little bit more of a kind of kind of a personality thing so once you're at this point you're pretty much almost halfway done if you believe it or not if you guys want to now you want to pre uh, press Control j to make a duplicate of this text here and we're just gonna call this 1d for the one duplicate and we're gonna call this 1d and we're gonna call it blue just so you guys know this is the color blue we're gonna double click on this layer and change this to the second color that we have in our text here and this is kind of like turquoise blue the hex code is 40e1 d8 press ok press ok again and i can rasterize this layer because i don't really care i could do it if i want to and as you can see here there's another color of this little uh this cool little text here right behind this gray and so pretty much this is where you're going to add the effect a wave it's under filter distort wave and if you guys don't have these settings already of course you're probably not going to you want to copy this down so number of generators is five and wavelength is uh minimum maximum 35 100 amplitude 120 and then your scale is 100 100 for both of them and of course your type is sin and you want to go ahead and press ok and then as you can see you're going to pretty much have this right here very simple uh, if I want to, I can probably press it twice. Nah, that's fine. And then once you have this, you want to click back on your original text here, right? And you want to press W on your keyboard and use the magic wand tool, just like so. And you select the inside of each one of these letters by holding shift as well to select more than one letter, just like so. As you can see, it's very, very easy. And I can go back on my blue duplicate and press delete on my keyboard to make sure I have nothing on the inside. There we go. Looks good. And it works, right? So I'm going to do this two more times, of course. So I'm going to make another duplicate of this blue here because I don't really need to make another wave unless I really want to and make it like kind of like different. Uh, sure, we'll just do it one time. I'm not cur I'm curious because I didn't do it the second time. However, let's just see what happens. I'm going to change this color to orange. And we're going to drop down, use color orange. So I'm going to have an orange back here as well. Rasher's layer because I can. Uh, filter, distort, wave. And we'll just like move this just a tiny bit like that maybe like that does that work for you sure why not press text use our magic wand tool and make sure there's nothing on the inside of the text here delete there we go and then one more time i guess i'll just follow the whole kind of like making a new wave thing i don't really need to you don't really need to you can just duplicate the blue and then kind of like make the orange tilted a different way or just kind of rotate a little bit what i mean by that is what you can do is duplicate the the blue or the orange whatever one and then kind of just change the color I'll just use hue really quickly change the color and then just rotate it you can just do like that if you guys want to but that's like the kind of like the lazy way right now i'm just kind of doing more work because why the heck not and this is the pink one so we're gonna make this pink press ok rash is layer because i can and filter distort wave and we'll just make this a little bit different just like so right i'm gonna go ahead and click on my text press w my keyboard for the magic wand tool click on each individual like it, this is like a rinse and repeat thing that's why i'm not kind of like going slow or whatever because we already seen this twice already and pretty much you have this now you kind of have multiple colors in the background kind of like in a in a i guess a stacked way and what you want to do is you can select the blue here i'm gonna take my eraser i'm gonna use a 100 percent hardness eraser here size whatever doesn't really matter well i would suggest small 
and you want to pretty much go around and kind of delete where you don't want just so much blue or so much whatever like right now uh this is okay i'm gonna go to my orange now i'm gonna say i don't want any orange here i don't want orange here uh we have orange up here i don't like this over here and you just kind of rinse and repeating kind of like figuring out where you kind of want the color at and last but not least it would be the pink i say i like that pink here i don't like there's just too much pink there uh maybe like right here maybe like right there and then just kind of like subtract and add whatever colors you think belongs in different spots by just erasing the individual colors so once you have this i'm kind of missing color here so i'm gonna keep that pink maybe i'll erase this pink yep that'll do all right cool so now that you have this going here we can pretty much do the next part which is the color correction okay so before i do that however i'm gonna group all these things together all the text stuff i'm gonna group together and we're just gonna call this text complete and we're gonna make the uh the nice little color correction here now so the color correction i chose is curve we're gonna make a simple s curve however it's gonna be a little more dramatic on the bottom of the s actually so on this first point we're gonna make a nice little like kind of just go up a little bit and the second part we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it pretty far down just enough where you can kind of see that that color that we chose that's like a grayish blue starts to pop out more color that's where you want to get to once you're out here you're like okay we're getting somewhere what you want to do next is the vibrance so for vibrance i have mine at 100 and then 50. this is kind of bring out more color as well and you can see right here i kind of have like pixel erases here and that's probably because when i went ahead and did uh when i used select a magic wand tool or whatever you can see it's probably one pixel off so you're gonna have so much color you're gonna have like color leaking if this problem actually happens to you i'll quickly show you guys how to figure it out pretty much just reselect all the different layers here go to select modify expand and expand your pixels by about three and as you can see it'll now go over the original cutout and i can just go back to the blue orange and pink here and as you can see it will delete all of that stuff is just only just the white in the inside. So if that bothers you, just go ahead and do what I just did and you're good to go. So vibrance is now done. We can go ahead and go to the brightness and contrast. We're gonna go about five contrast and then 70 or 65 uh, or five brightness and 65 contrast looks pretty good, right? And then we're gonna also make sure that all of these are clipping masks. Just like so. Make sure these are all clipping masks just to make sure that it's only on the actual group here. Make sure, promise you, it'll be a difference. And then last but not least, color balance. I've been using color balance a lot just because if you kind of flirt with it, you can kind of get different colors than you had originally. But it looks a lot better when you kind of use color balance. I love it. I really, really do. I really suggest you guys to use it a little bit more if you guys are into, of course, fixing your color correction. I don't want to use hue and saturation anymore. Uh, uh, color balance is probably my thing to actually change the color. Now, I might just use Hue and Saturation today. However, I'm just going to show you guys that uh, color balance is also a really cool one. And for my settings for this, I'm going to go 5, negative 10, and then 10. And I'm also going to color my, or excuse me, make sure I have this clipping mask. Make sure I change my, um, change my opacity about 50% or so. Just kind of have it there. I don't want it too much blue or whatever. This is perfect. What I have now is exactly what I want. So, now I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to make a new layer right below... Uh, the curve here so it's also gonna be clip mask and we're gonna call this brush hit because that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna take my brush here and we're gonna make sure it's a nice zero hardest brush we're gonna pretty much hold alt and select the blue here and I'm gonna go ahead and just click just like so twice in like just two different areas and I'm gonna go ahead and just change this into color dodge just like that and then lower the opacity down to maybe like 40% or so 30% looks pretty good as well that looks awesome. So pretty much now, I'm at this point where I'm going to use uh, Hue and Saturation. Now, I just said I won't probably use them. I'm probably using a Color Dodge. However, Hue and Saturation works for this example. And for my Hue and Saturation, I'm going to change this to 115 uh, for my Hue. And then my Saturation, I'm going to change to 30. And this is going to be a nice little purple kind of tilt here. I'm going to make this a little more purple for me. So I'll say like 90 or 95 or so, just like so. And I'm going to click on the little white little square here. Or what is it? A rectangle? There we go. Press my eraser. And I'll make sure my eraser is not at uh, 100 hardness. I'm going to make sure it's at zero hardness. And just kind of erase a little bit around. Just get more color going here, right? That looks pretty good. Yep, I'm down. Just a little more color, kind of a little more. Uh, let's actually erase, you know, like so. Kind of get like a rainbow thing going on here. I'm down. It looks pretty good. 
and let's see that's pretty okay right it kind of just adds like a secondary color to it uh right here all right sweet so that works for me this looks good we're pretty much done at this point what we're going to do now is the inside so what you want to do is you want to take everything that you just did and then select it holding shift Control j Control e to merge it all together so you're going to basically have two of the same exact thing but this is going to be in all one layer text right so i'm gonna drive this below everything right below my text complete uh layer here and it's gonna be behind this of course i'm gonna go to filter liquify this is what i use liquify for i'm gonna use the uh forward wrap tool and i'm gonna change my settings to as followed 500 brush size uh actually brush size probably depends on whatever dimension you're in whatever banner design you're doing or whatever um your brush density is at 68 or 78 excuse me and then your brush pressure is at 30 or excuse me 88 and pretty much now you just want to kind of take your mouse and literally kind of just make circles right it's gonna make circles just like so if you find yourself you need to like redo or whatever there's a restore button restore all uh or is it restore all i think it is restore all yeah and you can just kind of redo it again if you want to and i just want to kind of just do something like that right weird kind of shape going on here and pretty much the reason why i do that is i'm going to see it in the background here and i'm going to take my alt and key and hold shift as well i'm going to make a duplicate of the layer holding alt will make a duplicate of the layer just like so as you can see if i keep holding alt it'll make duplicates and then holding shift will allow it to only rotate on the axis that it started on so if i hold alt and shift and move it up and down or excuse me hold alt and shift move it up or down it can no longer go left or right so that will make sure that this duplicate that i just made the second one right here is always on the, is on the same exact axis so now i'm going to merge these two things together it's going to be just i'll just call it one text layer it's just two layers in one right now and i'll make sure i just erase the outside i can use a uh 100 hardness brush i can do the whole select the thing on the outside or select all the the things on the inside if i want to and then just like use a select inverse or you can just take your eraser and erase it you know either one actually does work in this case usually i would say like don't use your eraser or whatever but what not? why not okay we're going to use our eraser i'm gonna leave some of this kind of fun loop stuff however kind of give it more fun right it looks really good at this point in time last but not least kind of like little touchy effects here is using a nice white uh soft brush here so uh make this a pretty good size and then we'll kind of just flirt with hitting that like right there maybe that looks pretty good uh we'll say like right there that looks okay uh pretty much now you i did actually do one other thing i what i did was i actually just made a duplicate of everything once again right dragged it below and then i used what was it it was uh i think i just used waved again and i just changed my amplitude or something like that or my wavelength and my amplitude and kind of got like this little kind of thing going on here so my settings right now is 35 225 132 191 pressing okay and I kind of got this like weird stuff going on here. However, my settings are of course a little bit different. I can't probably tell the exact ones, but if you kind of flirt with it a little bit, you'll be able to get some really cool fun, just like shapes going on here. Like in the background, that you can just kind of leave in the background and erase what's on the inside. So I'm gonna do it one more time. If I don't like it, screw it, whatever. Uh, do something like that. I don't know. I don't like that right there. However, I do like this. I like how this is going. I love this right here, and I'm gonna just keep this and just call it a day. Uh, no, I'm not. I gotta do it. I just gotta try. I gotta try. Let's try one more time. Mm, this is experimenting time. Where do I want to go with this? Maybe like, dude, that would look pretty awesome as well. Cheese. Okay, I don't really know where I want to go with that. That's a little weird. However, it might work. I don't know. This is kind of like future or psychedelic kind of thing going on here. But let's just go ahead and just go with that. Roll with this for a second. And kind of just erase this inside here. Just like so. And I'm going to have something on the back, on like in the back here. I, I just erased the wrong thing. Hilarious. Or I'll put on the same exact layer. I just, tr I just choke, just, oh God. I'm choking. There we go. I put on the same, I put the uh, wave effect on the same exact layer, the other wave effect. I want to make sure I do it on two different ones. And there we go. Now it's okay. And then pretty much at this point, you can kind of flirt with it more. If you guys want to do what I did for the actual background, if you want to make it to like a background, you can probably start off with this, right? What I did was I, of course, duplicated everything once again, made it a lot bigger, like as big as the actual canvas goes, right? 
and then I went to my filter liquify again and I kind of just swirled it you know I just swirled it pressed ok come on let's go you want to go faster and then once I was inside the Photoshop once again I changed my layer to luminosity I believe and just lower my past like 10% or so so luminosity 10% and then I also erased the inside of this as well. So I wanted to make sure it was incredibly, you know, still like pure white, right? Just like so. And then pretty much there you gotta go. Like it's, no matter what, I'm probably not gonna have the same exact effect if I do it as many times as I probably am if I want to. However, the overall effect of this court, it's really abstract, it's really fun. And I really do highly suggest you guys to really try it out. It looks freaking awesome when you take your time on it and stuff like that and kind of have like a like a goal or a mission or whatever. Um, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to leave a like, 200 likes on the video. You can say secret down below. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for, you know, just like, you know, just being there for me and stuff like that. And I, like I said, I'm still looking for the 300 likes. I'm curious. Can we do it? I'm really, really curious. Um, so, yeah, if you're not subscribed to me, of course, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Comment down any tutorials you're going to see me do. And I'll probably do it in the future. Who knows? You might never know. Follow me on Twitter at SensoHQ. Check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SensoHQ for any premiums and packs as those three bucks. And as always, guys, talk to you guys later. SensoHQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.